Hi there guys, this is Mark with Link Match. In today's video, I would like to go over the essentials of Link Match parsing options. As a first step, we would need to navigate the Link Match options page. For that, you need to click on the green check mark in the top right corner of your Chrome browser. If for some reason you don't see the green check mark, please click on the link down in the description box that will take you to a video that will show you how to navigate the Link Match options page. Go to your parsing options tab and this is our center of focus for today's topic. Now here, to your right, you see your LinkedIn profile fields. Basically, all of the information for a particular LinkedIn profile is included in this area. To your left, you see your CRM fields corresponding to your contacts or organization. Now this may differ. For example, if you're using another CRM system, you may have an additional tab here that you are able to map and organize, but the logic stays pretty much the same. So for example, let's say you would like to tell link match that a particular field from LinkedIn should go to a particular field inside of your Zoho CRM or your pipe drive or any other system. So what you do is you take that field, you drag and you drop it. And then if you want to add more fields into to that same field, you drag and drop it again. So basically you're saying that if a person works at two companies on LinkedIn and that information is displayed, you simply drag and drop that information to one field inside of your CRM. If you wish to undo this action, you simply click on the X sign near the box and it disappears. Pretty straightforward, pretty simple. Now let's say if you want to map a specific field like connected date, here's what it gets tricky a little bit because you can't map it to any field that you like. For example, in instances like this, it will tell you incompatible type. This could mean that your connected date is a numeric field and your test field is a drop down field or a text field and that's why it's not compatible for mapping. So link match will simply not allow you to map those two fields together. You would need to create an additional custom field or map it to an existing field of an appropriate type. Another cool feature that we have here is parse company as organization from context profile. This would mean that whenever you're saving a LinkedIn profile of a person to your CRM, their complete company's profile would also be saved in the background to your CRM. If you have this box unchecked, then whenever you're saving a LinkedIn profile of a person to your CRM, only the name of that company or organization will be saved and not the complete profile. If we go to the organizations tab, the same logic applies here. You can also have the option to drag and drop the fields from LinkedIn to your CRM. Basically, you're telling Link Match how you want the information from LinkedIn to be saved inside of your CRM. And if you want to remap your fields, again, you simply drag and drop it to wherever it's available. If you'd like to map it to a different field, then you can create a custom field inside of your CRM and it will be displayed here. Another cool feature that we have for you that will become very handy for your search on LinkedIn is default values for fields. Now I went into my CRM and created position title field just for the sake of the demonstration. For example, if I have this use default value check and select a particular value, this would mean that every time I save a LinkedIn profile to my CRM, the position title would be the value that I choose. In this particular case, Java developer. Of course, I can go into my CRM and create additional values and default to that during saving. This is very handy so you don't have to choose the value for this field every time you're saving. If you have this unchecked, of course, it will not work. It works very well for drop downs inside of your organizations or contacts tab. The default values for the position title field is just one of the examples of how you can use it. Of course, you can use it for other types of fields such as location, industry, skill, and many more. If we go back to the contacts tab here, and go to LinkedIn URL. Now here's the key. Since link match matches by several criteria, and LinkedIn URL being one of the most crucial ones and important ones, we need to make sure that it is properly mapped in order to guarantee precise matching. So what do we do? We scroll down and find the LinkedIn URL and then we just drag and drop it. That's it. This will guarantee that whenever you're searching on LinkedIn using link match and you have this LinkedIn URL properly mapped from the options page, it will guarantee a more precise matching. If you do not have a field inside of your CRM titled LinkedIn URL, we strongly recommend you go inside of your CRM and create one and then map it from the link match options page. That's it, you guys. We hope you find this useful. If you have more questions, simply go to linkmatch.net and you can contact us either through our chat, our phone number, or email team at linkmatch.net.